Once upon a time in the old days, in this very town of Novgorod, there was a young man. Just a boy he was, like you. What was his name? His name was Zanko. And he used to walk about in this very beach playing his guitar all day. Zanko was very poor. He did not have a dime in the world, except what the people gave him when he played his guitar for their dancing. Zanko grew up to become a strong and handsome lad, but he would never dare to dance with any young girl, for he had no money to marry on or take them out for dinners. Zanko lived alone with his guitar and made do with half a loaf when he could not get a hole. <sighs> Sometimes it was just him, his guitar, and the sea. Zanko loved the sea. It happened that one evening a few fishermen asked him to watch their nets for them on the shore, while they went off to take their fish to sell them in the square at Novgorod. Zanko sat on the shore on a rock and played his guitar and sang. I sing for thee, O oh beautiful sea, while I watch you wave. Wave at me, you beautiful sea. Blessed I feel you're here with me. And while he was singing, he saw a whirlpool in the sea. And from it emerged the head of a great man with blue hair and a gold crown. He knew that the huge man was the Tsar of the sea. The little waves ran from him in all directions as he came striding up out of the water. Zanko of Novgorod, you have played and sung many days by the seashore. My daughters love your music, and it has pleased me too. Throw out a net into the water and draw it in and the waters will pay you for your singing. And if you are satisfied with the payment, you must come and play to us down in the green palace of the sea. With that, the Tsar of the sea went down again into the waters of the sea. The waves closed over him with a roar. Well, there is no harm in giving it a shot. He threw a net out into the sea and then began to draw it up out of the silver water. Easily the ropes came and the net dripping and glittering in the moonlight. There is nothing in the net at all. And then, just as the last of the net was coming ashore, he saw something in it, square and dark. He dragged it out and found it was a coffer. He opened the coffer, and it was full of precious stones. Green, red, gold, gleaming in the light of the moon. He took the coffer and put it in a safe place. All night he sat and watched by the nets and played and sang. In the morning, the fishermen came and gave him a full loaf for watching their nets. And that is my last meal as a poor man. Zanko walked into the city where he sold a few of the stones and with what he got for them, he set up a booth in the market. Small things led to great and he was soon one of the richest traders in Novgorod. And now every girl in the town would look sweetly at Zanko. But despite of his good fortune, Zanko did not change. His love for the Volkov Sea remained unturned. Every day he would take his guitar and play and sing on the seashore. There is no girl in all Novgorod as pretty as the sea. He removed a beautiful necklace from his pocket and threw it into the sea. It was a little present for the sea he loved so much. One day, when he was sailing in a ship, on the Caspian Sea, there suddenly came a storm. This is it, the end of us. The gods are angry. The crew held on to whatever they could and shook in fear. Sanko, however, was calm. 
I remember now an old promise I made, and it is now time to fulfill it. With the guitar in his hand, he leapt from the ship into the blue Caspian Sea. The waves closed over his head, and then strangely the storm was over. The ship sailed smoothly and came in the end, safely to the harbor. And what happened to Zanko? Ah, Zanko! Zanko went down and down and down in the water. He came at last to the bottom of the sea. And there, on the bottom of the sea, was a palace built of pink wood. Zanko entered through the gates of the palace. Inside, there was a great hall, and the Tsar of the Sea lay resting in the hall, with his gold crown on his head and his blue hair floating round him in the water. Ah, Zanko, you took what the sea gave you. But you have been a long time in coming to sing in the palaces of the sea. Great Tsar, forgive! Sing now! And Zanko played on his guitar and sang. I sing for thee, O oh mighty king, the czar of the sea. The waves are yours and all the water and the salt and the fish. I sing for thee and, yeah, beautiful sea. Me watched its waves. It waved at me, yeah, beautiful sea. And I'm grateful to thee. I would dance. He stood up like a tall tree in the hall and began to dance. The very bottom of the sea shook at the dancing of that tremendous song. He danced till he was tired and then sat down. You have played well and given me pleasure. I have three daughters and you shall choose one and marry her and be prince of the sea. With all due respect, I don't think there is any lady whom I can love more than I love the sea. The Tsar clapped his hands, and then there came in the three daughters of the Tsar of the Sea. Beautiful they were, lovely and graceful. But Zanko was mesmerized by the youngest. She is as pretty as my sea. She looked at him with eyes that shone like stars reflected in the sea. Her hair was dark, like the sea at night. The Tsar of the Sea put Zanko's hand in the hand of his youngest daughter, and they kissed each other. And as they kissed, Zanko saw a necklace round her neck, and knew it for one he had thrown into the sea as a present for the sea. And Zanko laughed for joy, and hugged the youngest daughter of the Tsar of the Sea and she hugged him back. Soon they were married, and the Tsar of the Sea laughed at the wedding feast till the palace shook and all the fish swam off in all directions. And after the feast, Zanko and his bride went off together to her palace. And before they slept, she said, Oh, Zanko, you will not forget me. You will play to me sometimes and sing. I shall never lose sight of you, my pretty one. And as for music, I will sing and play all the day long. That's as may be. Saying that, she fell asleep. Zanko fell asleep too. In the middle of the night, Zanko happened to turn in bed. And he touched the princess with his left foot. And she was cold as ice in January. And with that touch of cold, he woke and he was lying under the skies of Novgorod by the sea. Grandfather, what happened to him after that? There are many tales. Some say he went into the town and became a merchant, but I believe that he took his guitar and swam out into the middle of the sea and sank under the water again, looking for his little princess. They say he found her and live still in the pink palaces of the bottom of the sea. And when there are big waves, you may know that Zanko is playing on guitar and singing, and the Tsar of the Sea is dancing his tremendous dance down there on the bottom, causing the waves. What do you think happened? I do think he went back to his princess. Oh yes? And why is that? Because... 
that has a happy ending. A and like you say, every story needs a happy ending. And remember, if it's not happy, it's, it's not, not the end. end.